call the law. Standing over there, <laughs> the devil's son in law. Time. I want to give the drummer some of this funky soul we got here. You don't have to do no soloing, brother. Just keep what you got. Don't turn it loose, because it's a mother. When I count to four, I want everybody to lay out and let the drummer go. And when I count to four, I want you to come back in. Ain't it funky? Ain't it funky? Ain't it funky? I want to do 
the funky drama. 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 The funky drama.
Merci. Merci, Merci d'être là. Je suis heureux. Bonne bon bon semaine avec tous.
Soyuz, um, the basic principle is the same. So Soyuz launches from the pad into an orbit that's lower than the ISS. And then there's a phase of tracking uh, to make sure that the, the position of the Soyuz is determined by the ground as well as by the vehicle in sufficient precision. And then there's a, there's a approach into the vicinity of the ISS uh, in order to have the relative motion of two vehicles being according to very simple dynamics. At some point, if you're close enough, the, the relative motion of the two vehicles becomes very simple. And at the very last stage, it even becomes so simple that you can basically directly fly there. Um, and, and that's the Soyuz approach. And, and the basic principle is the same for the ATV. So we also launch into a lower orbit and then we catch up with the station because in the lower orbit you are faster, so you're catching up. And then also tracking and phasing. Phasing means this catching up. That's the, that's the expression for the, for the phasing. And then um, uh, you have a much more um, sophisticated final approach for the ATV. And the reason, main reason is that the ATV is completely autonomous. So it is autonomous in the normal approach, but it is also autonomous in case of a contingency. So there is no, no need for astronaut um, interaction with the vehicle. Of course, because of the safety requirements, there is a possibility to have, um, have the astronauts interacting with the vehicle, interrupting or sending it away. But it is uh, it's not required, and that's very important because then one of the most valuable um, resources on board the ISS is crew time, and that's why why the ATV has a very different kind of approach compared to the Soyuz. You know, the physical performance of the, of the rocket is uh, is certainly gives the possibility to be at an orbit that is the ISS orbit within even a to, uh, 15 minutes. I mean, that, that's what's happened. You launch in the rocket and it takes you up to orbit in 15 minutes. That's how long the rocket operates. And of course, in theory, you could just launch and target as well as you can to kind of find the ISS, just to be at the same point in time with the ISS. However, uh, what is not, uh, what is kind of keeping us from doing that is, is that any rocket has limited precision. And it must not be forget or forgotten that we, that now we are flying, at the end of this, we are flying at 29,000 kilometers an hour or 8 kilometers a second. So each second we are wrong with our ejection means we are off by 8 kilometers. So, so that makes it easy to do something wrong if, if you're not totally precise. And you can't be uh, totally precise. And that's why all this is required, this kind of tracking very important so in that case actually the, the ground station used by the ATV control team in, in uh, Toulouse uh, they take data from the ATV so they, they are having their ground stations and then the antenna of the ground station is following the ATV and they get uh, they get information about the distance and the radial velocity meaning the, the velocity as seen by the ground station and they record that and this recording is is translated into an orbit information. The whole process is called orbit determination. And orbit determination is used to predict where the vehicle will be in 5, 10, 30 minutes from now. And this process of tracking and adjusting the orbit to the nominal orbit is called navigation. And, and that takes time. And now with the Soyuz, uh, with the fast track, Basically, what would happen there is they, they've been, uh, our Russian partners have become so confident in, in this tracking and processing the tracking data, doing orbit animation and doing navigation, on top having a crew on board that can, if there is a contingency, react rather quickly. That adds all up to the confidence to say, okay, we can make this much more quickly than, than just uh, than the entire to be.
trop content d'être là.
the game cause your name's my boo
Thank you.